Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I thought I would share my favourites from the month because I did it last month and I really enjoyed it and I think it's a great way for you to see new products or the things that I'm loving if you're interested and also it's great for me as well to just see what I like from that month, what I wasted my money on, what I would buy again. I've got quite a few things so let's just get straight right in. Okay so my first thing I'm loving which I've got on today is this which is the Anastasia liquid liner and then the minute I saw this on Instagram I was like I really want this because I really wanted a new liquid liner I love a paintbrush style as I have mentioned before and I actually thought this was but it's actually not <laughs> but it's kind of like between a paintbrush and a felt tip so it's very very nice I've still got it in the box because it's very new but I'm loving it already like I use it today I'm like obsessed so it just looks like this and it opens like this. So it's got a really elongated tip, um, but it's still more like a felt tip, but it kind of a cross between a paintbrush. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. It's a little bit of a hybrid. It is a matte one, but it's still got a little bit of a gloss to it. It goes on really well. It's really good for doing the tips at the end. I haven't worn eyeliner for actually quite a long time and I used to wear it every day. So I was like trying to get used to doing it again, but really, really loving it. And yeah, I think it's really, really good. Okay, so when I bought this, I bought it from the Anastasia website and they had an offer on where if you buy any product, you got a makeup brush for 10 pounds. And so I was looking at the price of their brushes and some of them are actually really quite dear. So I was like, I'm gonna get one. So I got this one, this one here, and it's the A7 and it's kind of like a highlighting kind of contour brush. Um, I used it today for my highlight and I used a cream highlight on it. So you can use it for cream or powder. I think this brush was about like 26 or something like that. And I got it for 10 pounds. So that was 21 and I got that for 10 pounds. And I also got free delivery because obviously I spent over a certain amount. So it was totally worth it. And I'm loving this. It feels really, really good. Like it feels super soft and I've got like a really good quality brush for 10 pounds. So if you're after a new brush or you want to buy anything from Anastasia, check out their own website. Talking of getting a free brush, I wanted to get the new Jeffree Star Morphe collection. Well, not collection. I just wanted to get the setting spray. As I mentioned before, I love the Morphe setting spray. It's my favorite setting spray. So Jeffree brought out this pink version. Look at it, oh my God. Set and Refresh Mist in Starberry. It's got a little strawberry on the top. It is delicious. Before we get into that, quickly want to mention. So on the site, he has his new brush collection and new palette. And I didn't want either of those, but if you spent 20 pound on Morphe, you got free delivery. And I was like, well, I may as well put it towards something else rather than paying like four pound delivery. I always see this, you know how it is. So I decided to try one of the brushes and I think this is called like the Drama Crease. This is a JS8 and I've been using it today because it's a bit dirty and it's so, so soft. So if you are thinking of getting the brushes and you're not sure, I would definitely recommend them. Of course, I don't have them all, but they're really, 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 really soft. And they seem really, really, really nice. I just didn't need a brush set. So I just thought I'd try one of them and obviously just wanted the spray. So here it is. It is so, so nice. I'm gonna spray it again. Oh, I love it. It does seem to have a little bit of a finer mist, like he said. And oh, I wish I'd maybe picked up two of these and I might get another one because I'm like obsessed with this. It has the scent. I don't know if it's strawberry. It's definitely very sweet. I mean, it kind of is strawberry. It's very berry like. I can't explain it. It's kind of like, I don't know if it's strawberry, but it's like really, really sweet. It's really summery. It, imagine, I imagine this is what Jeffree Star smells like if I smell him. Because <laughs> he's just like pink bubble gum and that's him. So absolutely loving them and so glad I got them. My next thing that I bought this month that I love is this from Pixie. I love Pixie skincare. I saw they brought out some body products and I was really keen to try them. So I tan, as you might already know, and I love a really gritty scrub. But if I don't use a gritty scrub, I love something that has maybe like glycolic or something in it. And there isn't many kind of scrubs or things out there like that. I actually have used the Murad AHA face cleanser before on my body because I had a spare one. And it's got glycolic and lactic acid in it. It's so good for like a pre-tan prep. 
So Pixie have brought this out. It's the glycolic body peel with glycolic acid and lactic acid. And it's so good. It's not like mega gritty or anything, but it really, really gets like tan off and really preps your skin. If anything, I still use my tan remover. So I use my Santropy tan remover and then I use this because that just takes the tan off. And then this really just makes the body really smooth for a smooth application. It also has stuff like witch hazel in it, which is a great one if instead of using it because you want to tan, you maybe have a really spotty back or you have some spotty body skin, that would really help with that, especially with the glycolic acid and the lactic acid and the witch hazel together. It's just a little bit like the glow tonic, but for your body, but it's more of like a peel product. So it's, if I can show you, it's kind of like a brownie kind of like creaminess and it's got that grit to it. If you've ever tried the Saint Tropez um, scrub that they have, it's quite a similar texture to that. And I love that product. Um, so if you do want something a little cheaper, it doesn't have glycolic like, acid in it, but it's quite similar to that. I would recommend that Saint Tropez product, but absolutely loving this. They also have a body lotion, um, which I don't think you'll get, but like if you're interested in that. And then I think there's a glycolic body wash as well. As we're talking about tanning, another favourite this month is the Loving Tan Deluxe Face Tan. I love Loving Tan, it's my favourite tan to use on my body. It's quite difficult to get here in the UK. There is one stockist, which I'll link below in the description box if you have been looking for it. Um, it flies out of stock so quick, so I always try and get my hands on it. And it is really expensive actually for a tan because you get like a lot less in it than say other tans. but. I absolutely love it. I started trying it in April and I just haven't used any other tan since. It comes out like a brony red colour rather than the green tinge and I just think it has a really natural finish. I actually use the Ultra Dark Tour Express and a lot of these Express tans and Tour Rouge, like you're never going to be tan. In Tour Rouge you're tanned. Of course, after Tour Rouge you don't maybe really look that tan but then it builds uh, over a while but you can wash it. So like you can wash it off and then it just builds after that. So I do three hours and it's so, so dark. Like I don't even think I would wanna do much darker than that. So yeah, so that's what I use my body. So I decided to try the new face one. This is a dark one again for medium to dark skin tones. Obviously I'm very pale, so that's why I buy dark because I obviously want it to come up quite dark. Now I would say this doesn't come up as dark as the body tan, the Tour Express. It's definitely not as dark as that, but it is a really, really nice color. Um, you have to wash it off, which I used Tan Lux face drops before. And with that, you just mix it on with moisturizer and you put it on, you didn't have to wash it off. So I do have to wash this off. So what I tend to do is just put it on with my tan and then I'll just wash it all off in the shower. And it comes up such a beautiful color. The only thing I found with it is it has faded very quickly compared to say the likes of Tan Lux. But I just really, really like the color of this. I think it's so, so natural. Like if I was to not wear makeup, I could just wear this and it doesn't look patchy, it looks natural. Whereas sometimes the tan lux drops that I used before with the moisturizer can look quite patchy, can look quite orange, can stick to pigmentation. So I'm gonna stick with this and keep trying it more because I do actually think it's really, really, really nice. It says on here it has green tea, pomegranate and acai in it. So it's got some really nice ingredients for your face. The ingredients are different to the one in the body one because I have had a look because sometimes I just think should I just put the body one on my face but I'm a little bit scared because it is very dark. So at the moment I'm really liking this and I think it'll last quite a long time because I've only used a tiny, tiny amount and I just put it on with my hands and it comes up really, really well. So I will link, as I said, the UK stockist below that I have found that I get it from if you have been searching for this tan and you want to try it. I absolutely love a sheet mask. Um, I'm obsessed with them. I've used them for a really long time now. And I used one from Star Skin before and I just remember it was so good and my skin felt amazing afterwards. And I couldn't for the life of me remember what one it was. And then I recently got recent some more Star Skin products and this is it. <laughs> so I wanted to share it with you. It's the Star Skin VIP Creme de la Creme, and there's two. So they've got this one, and I used the other one, which is a slightly lighter pink. Um, I don't know what the difference is. I think one is like nourishing, and one is more like hydrating or nourishing and brightening or something like that. But they're so good. Like the other Star Skin masks are good, but if you want something for drier skin or just to really nourish your face, make it plump, make it look good. Actually, I think it was for plumping. It's so nice. Like these ones are amazing. I wish they would bring out this creme de la creme as a moisturizer because it feels so good on my skin. Like after I've had it on, my face just feels hydrated, 
for hours like even the next day it felt so good so if you have ever wanted to try sheet masks or you wanted to try scar skin try these because they're so good the other body product I wanted to try out was this from Bio Oil, and this is a dry skin gel. So I got the little 50ml size um, just to try it out, and it's really good because I tend to get really dry elbows or my eczema on my hands, it just like parts like that. I had also seen it's also a great product for like on holiday or something, and you put like quite a little bit of on your hands and put it on your legs, and it gives a really glossy look. Um, or like on a night out so I tried that I think I put way too much on but if you put a little bit on it'll actually look really nice gives that nice sheen so if you've got a big event coming up or you've got a night out and you want a little bit of a shine then this is really nice and really hydrating and then just good for any dry skin but this is quite nice and light it's really lovely I also bought a couple of things from Kylie uh last month i think it was but they weren't in my favorites because i hadn't really used them that much but they're in this month's favorites because i think they're really really good so this is the kylie kylie jenner translucent setting powder this is their my favorite setting powder if you have never really been a fan of setting powders translucent ones because your skin might be a little bit drier and you want a little more of a luminous effect like i always use luminous foundations then this is great because it doesn't make your face look caked it's just so nice and I think there's coloured ones as well but really really like it and then I also got the Kybrow Kylie Jenner Extreme Hold Gel and this is so good because you just think it's a brow gel but it's really really good. I have tried brow gels and they don't keep my eyebrows up half of them. The only one I would say that did is the MAC one and this is better because it has two ends on the brush. So one end is slightly longer and then this end is thinner. I'm not sure the difference, but I tend to use one one way and one another. I saw a video of Kylie actually, I think it was her Vogue video, and she went over her eyebrows twice with brow gel and I was like, right, I'm gonna start doing that. And ever since I started doing that, it really works. So I really like this and I love this like pink packaging. It's very like the Jeffree Star one, super cute. I tend to put in some disappointments, misses. I don't really have anything this month apart from this. Of course, guys, it's an eyebrow product because where would I be with a disappointing eyebrow product like last month? And why am I always buying eyebrow products? And I know I'm probably going to buy another eyebrow product because Fenty have just brought out their new eyebrow products. I'm probably going to want to try that. But yeah, here it is. It is Max. What's it called? Shape and Shade Brow Tint. Now I saw Pixie Wu use this on their Instagram and I was like, amazing. This is totally what I've been after. This is so good. Yeah, I just think it's like great. <laughs> so I'll explain what it is to you first. Okay, so this end is kind of like a meant to give like a micro bleeding type effect on it. And then this end is kind of to shade the ends in at the bottom. So things I don't like about it, number one is, oh actually number one is the colour. So I have the colour Spite. I went into the shop to test these out because I didn't want to just buy it online. Now I have Spite in the eyebrow pencil and I love that and I use it all the time. I thought I would just be Spite in this but I went into the shop, they had every colour to test apart from the one that I wanted to. So I tried out taupe because normally I do gravitate towards taupe, one of my other eyebrow products is like a taupe colour but it just seems so light when I tried it on my hand but I liked the effect of the pen so I was like right I'm just gonna buy it online. So I decided to delve and go for Spite. It's way too dark. It is so dark. It is not the same color as the Spite pencil. And yeah, it's just too dark. So for that, I can't really use it anyway. But with the microblading end, you really have to draw like fine strokes. So let's try. So even just now, I have had this pen stored upside down to make sure that it comes out. And it comes out, but it's quite watery. And you can do really fine strokes, but this is me going like this. So if I have to go like this, to kind of the ink's going the other way, and I'm not going to go down the way, so it's really hard to kind of do those really swift strokes. Like, I feel like I have to do it really, really fast to get them really fine, and it's really hard to do that yourself. I think this could be great if you're a makeup artist and you want to use it on someone. That could be a lot easier, but to use it on myself, I don't think it's the easiest. And... I had seen a lot of people actually in the comments on Pixie Boo say about it being watery and I kind of agree because it's kind of done that to me and yes you can go like that but I just feel like you're wasting a lot of product then. And then we get to the other end which is the shade end and it doesn't seem to get that much colour either like you put it in like this and 
it just doesn't come out that well and it's very very dark so I just think it's just too dark it's just not the right colour. I'm going to play around with it a bit more and see if I can use it for something. I mainly really wanted it for the microblading end to do the front bit. So I'm just not really sure about it. Like, I don't know. I just think as well with this end, it's really thick. Like, normally your eyebrow is much thinner at the end. So, I don't know. I'm just not a fan. I'm a bit disappointed by it. And obviously it's not really the right colour, so I can't use it. That's my favourites and my one miss from this month. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. Let me know what products you've been loving or if there's anything that you have thought of that you want to try out because there's so many new beauty products. There's so many new foundations happening at the moment. I'm quite keen to try the Fenty Beauty Hydrating ones. If you've tried that, let me know. Make sure you give this video a like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.